Hello, Virgo. How are you doing? We are going to do your reading for the month of September. I believe it's fall already. I'm going to do a general, general overview. May delve deeper if we need to in different areas. And top it off with some oracle cards. We'll look at different aspects depending on which way your reading goes. So we'll see how it goes. And if I haven't mentioned it already in some of my other readings, happy birthday month to all you Virgos out there. And happy belated birthday to those who have already had their birthday. So what do we have for Virgo for this month? Let's see what Spirit has to say for Virgos. Bottom of the deck, we get Page of Pentacles, so maybe a little advancements in money or material things coming. We'll see what the rest of the reading has to say. So, for Virgo. You've got an interesting month coming up, Virgo. We started off with the recent past of being in the Eight of Cups, moving away from something that doesn't emotionally fulfill us, into the Page of Cups, maybe a little new offering of love or relationships coming through. Present position of the Magician. So making happen what you want to happen in your life and bringing it for you. Sorry, there was a little interruption there, so we'll go back into the Magician. In the present position, the Magician, I may have mentioned this, is helping you to create the world you want. And you have everything in you to create that world. Moving into the near future, we get the Justice card. There we go. And the Justice card is all about bringing balance and fairness. Also, the sign of Libra, if that means something to you with the Magician generally being the sign of Gemini. And Justice bringing things into balance, bringing things fair. And in the future, we get the Two Cups. Can't seem to get my, uh, my camera angle right tonight. Uh, we get into the Two Cups, which is healing relationships. If you look, it's, it looks similar to the medical cadasis. And the Two Cups is all about working with working with a partner to heal both of you, not just one. Let's clarify that a little further. Looks like some of those, that Eight of Cups and the Page of Cups, the, the emotional issues were kind of keeping us, keeping us up at night and we were persevering and getting through it. things are going awesome for you right now, even if you don't quite see it, um, because you have the sun on top of the magician. The sun is the card of Leo, and bringing all that happiness, that sunshine, that bright, wonderful energy into your life. On top of Justice and the Two of Cups, we do get the Nine of Swords, which is a little more sleepless night, headache cards. So I don't know what you got going on with you in the future. We'll look at a little bit more at that. We'll draw another card on that and see what's going on. Two of Pentacles. Trying to find balance or juggling a situation. So that's what's going to keep you up at night. So especially if it is something that's related to justice, because we have both Justice card and the Two of Pentacles, which can be balance. Or if you're trying to choose between two different loves, two different things that are emotionally fulfilling for you, that can also cause some sleepless nights. And that's what we're seeing with the Two of Pentacles. Go what is best for your heart. And that's going to bring that healing energy for you, whether that's a job, a person, whatever it is that makes you feel good in your heart center. Let's throw some Oracle of the Fairies on this. It's a new deck I just got. Kind of a bad thing for me when the publishers have their 
they're really good sales. I bought a few new decks. So the next couple months, we'll be breaking them all up, seeing how they work for us. And just a reminder, if you are interested in a personal reading, that we can delve more deeply into relationships, work, family, whatever it is that's pressing on you, let me know. You can drop me an email at timesgate at gmail.com. And I'd love to work a time out with you and set one up. So let's see, what do the fairies have to tell us on our current situation? And then on that uh, Nine of Swords, Two of Pentacles situation. Maybe a little advice for that. So for the Magician and the Sun, we get Flourish. The Lotus Flower Fairy tells you to learn from experience and shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or those of others. That is Flourish. Beautiful, beautiful cards. And a little advice for that... To get to that Two of Cups emotionally fulfilling situation, abundance. Prepare yourself for incoming abundance. Release any mental blocks. That would be this uh, Nine of Swords situation. Release any mental blocks that you may have. In Fairyland and Humanland, there is enough abundance for everyone. We have the beautiful, beautiful. Stepping out of a flower, she's just gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I have a feeling we need to look into healing for some reason, for somebody out there, or maybe multiple people out there. So we're going to pull an Archangel Raphael card about some healing and see what he has to say on things. Especially with that Two of Cups, what is it that you need to work on healing? Raphael, what advice do you have for Virgos? Listen to your intuitive feelings. Dear higher self, thank you for speaking loudly and clearly in peaceful ways that I easily understand. Archangel Raphael, thank you for guiding me to listen to my inner wisdom. Never, never discount your own intuition and your own inner wisdom. It is one of the best healing things you can do for yourself. else are we going? What do we need to do? Some romance angels on things. See what's going on in your romance life. I'm not trying to be nosy. Let's see what's going on in your love life. Currently calling in your soulmate. You know, that explains that two of cups coming in. Heart to heart conversations. So, for calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So, what is it you're doing to call in your soulmate? Maybe it's time for that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. They're not always easy. I know that all too well. But honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. That is the best way to do it in any situation, any type of relationship. Even when it's hard, it's time to bring out those feelings and discuss them with each other. Overall, things are looking very good for you right now with both the Magician and the Sun. Listen to your, listen to your gut knowing. Listen to your heart. Follow your heart. Listen to your intuition. And tie... Step up and have those meaningful conversations. I'm going to close it off. Just a short reading today for this month. Apparently Virgos don't need much. Well, hey, the magician in the sun, the present situation. Hey, everything's good and gold for them right now. We're going to get notes from the universe on love and connection. It is a new deck by Mike Dooley that I picked up. So what do we have for Virgo? You are adored. And on the back it says, don't be fooled by the players and don't be fooled by yourself. There is no one more lovable nor loved than you. And I know everyone. Love, love precious, the universe. So the universe is telling you, you're adored. 
you have what it, it takes. Try not to keep yourself up at night. Try to remember how wonderful you really are because you've got that emotionally filling situation coming in your future. Listen to your intuition. Don't be afraid to have the conversations. You'll get there. I hope you're well and I hope this helps, Virgo. Otherwise, uh, if it doesn't, if it doesn't resonate, don't claim it as yours. Listen to your moon sign, your ascending, your north node to see if, if one of those resonates more this month. Oh, the camera just did a weird thing. Um, otherwise, if it doesn't resonate, I'll catch you in October. Take care. Be blessed. See you later.